Hi guys, Trudy here again. I um, just wanted to share with you my uh, gallery wall. Um, I watched so many videos before I did this on how to put one together, what to do, and you know what? Oh, so much stuff they wanted you to do. Lay them all out on the floor, put them on paper, cut the paper out, put the paper on the wall, hammer the nails in, take the paper off, put the picture up. Too much detail for me. I am not that person. I like things done and I like them done now and whether they're done properly or not doesn't matter as long as they get done. So this is my gallery wall. There was no rhyme or reason. Well, when I say that, the middle picture was probably the only thing I planned. So let's go and have a close look. Okay, so this in the middle, this is one of my actual artworks. So this is what I do on the side when I'm not working and when I'm not filming. Um, so I wanted something big in the middle just to, if you like, be the trunk of the tree and then go out from there. So the biggest picture that I had, I put up there. And then I went out from there. First, I did this side. I didn't go backwards and forwards. I just done one side at a time. So starting from the top, there's just a bit of driftwood that I found on a trip that I went on and a little fairy that I got at the op shop. That's a picture of my mum and dad. Now I don't have a lot of photos on the wall of family. Reason being I will have a wall for that particular thing but the gallery wall is more about, to me, things that I have found or been gifted that make me happy. And there's a little necklace on there that I found at the op shop. This here is from a local artist and she does her artwork and then makes postcards. So I particularly like this one because I do like cats and it went with my colour theme. I always try and find, um, when I'm at the op shop, I try and find um, frames that have maybe gold in them or brass, you know, that brassy look, or uh, and with thick mats around them. Now, that little painting or picture I found at the op shop, it's absolutely gorgeous. I love the brass around the outside and it actually turns blue I uh, don't know why it must be what it's made of, but it's just beautiful. Another little thing that I found at the op shop. It's really, really cute. That little guy just adds a bit of interest and a little pop of colour. Now, so when I say I don't like family photos, I like things that family have given me. So you can make a wall that means something to you without actually having photos. Now that my grandson gave to me when he was about two. It's a Christmas decoration and I just framed it up. Again, my daughter wrote me a, f a little um, note that is really precious to me. So I've just kept it in there. And that I found at the op shop and thought, oh, that is so me. <laughs> And it's in my colours, so I grabbed that. Okay, that's one side. Let's travel over here. Now this. My daughter got me that when she was in Bali. It's not real, so don't freak out. And I just hung a couple of danglies off it that I liked. Um, these two little picks here. I found the frame, the black frame at the op shop. It was actually a dirty looking brown colour. I wanted the little bird to pop so I painted it black and just put a bit of um, you know, crafters paper behind it. That's one of my little picks there too. Okay so that is just a little thing that I found at the op shop. It was on a red board so I painted it blue, scuffed it up a little bit and that was it. Um, another find from the op shop. I really like it. Um, I've always been drawn to that Asian sort of 
feel. You will find that out as we go around my house a little bit more in other videos. And that was just a plaque that I found at the op shop and I really loved it. It's got that sort of bluey colour in it too. That was just a Kmart picture and I aim to inspire so that's why that meant something to me. And these couple of little things. All of these are from the op shop guys. Um, the fork I found at the op shop. Thought it was really cool. It's got some nice detail on it. I'm not quite sure what the picture is. I'll have to have a closer look. But it was really pretty. A little mirror. And just a clock that sort of goes with my colour theme. So that's it guys. That's it. It's easy. Anyone can do it. Just pick something that goes in the middle that's nice and big and work your way out from there. Keep your pictures close. Um, hang necklaces. Hang little things of interest. It doesn't have to be boring, you know. Not everything has to match. It's just what makes you happy. I look at this wall every night and it makes me happy. I like the things on there. And that's what it's all about. That's what it should be about. Okay, and I'll just show you on this wall... So this is sort of the little wall before the window. Um, I can't turn my camera around, can I? But that is a little table. That's a guitar I painted. Little table I picked up at the tip for $1. It was falling apart and I resurrected it. Now, just a couple of simple things. Stick, my oil burner my Buddharess and this is a painting well it's not a painting this is all made out of polymer clay guys every single tile I made and put it all up here okay I put that in Nacho and I came equal first so I was pretty happy about that so there we go that's it now if you've got any questions or you want a closer look at anything just let me know guys have a nice day don't stress about your wall just put up what makes you happy and subscribe and like and share and I will see you in another video bye guys